Hi, I'm Dr. Jack West, medical oncologist from Seattle and the founder and president of GRACE. I wanted to talk now about the evolving, finally changing standard of care for patients with locally advanced or stage 3 non-small cell lung cancer. Now to put this in context, we're talking about a lot of patients. About a third of our patients with newly diagnosed lung cancer are found to have stage 3 unresectable lung cancer, non-small cell lung cancer. And the standard of care for more than a decade has been a combination of at least six, seven weeks of chemotherapy along with concurrent radiation to the chest. And this can be curative, about 15 to 20 percent of patients. So about one in six or one in five patients will be cured with that. But of course we want to do better. And we've been trying for that decade or more to improve on those results. We've tried increasing the duration of chemotherapy, adding more or sometimes starting with chemo before the chemo and radiation. That didn't lead to any improvement in outcomes, but did lead to more side effects. We've tried escalating the dose of the chest radiation, and that actually backfired and led to harm. And we've tried in some cases to add targeted therapies, drugs like uh, IRESA, also known as gefitinib. We've tried adding uh, Vastin, which is also known as Bevacizumab. These are targeted agents, but they didn't lead to improvements and in some cases led to harm as well. So it's been a humbling time as we've tried to improve the cure rates. Well, things appear to now be uh, meaningfully better with the addition and integration of immune therapy to uh, stage three lung cancer. Now, immune checkpoint inhibitors are established in patients with metastatic disease. These, drug act, these drugs act to turn off one of the breaking mechanisms for the immune system to help it recognize and attack a cancer, but they are not established in patients with earlier stage lung cancer that can potentially be treated to cure it. There was a big important trial called Pacific that was just recently presented in September of 2017 at a major meeting. This trial Pacific took patients, uh, several hundred patients with stage three lung cancer who had all received chemotherapy for at least a couple of months along with chest radiation and if they were not demonstrating progression and were doing okay would then be randomized after the completion of the standard treatment to either a year of a novel agent, Durvalumab, also known as Imfinzi, as a year-long immune treatment, it's given IV every two weeks, or a placebo IV every two weeks. And this placebo was done because we don't know, didn't know whether addition of a new agent was going to add beneficial effects, no effect, or even be harmful. We have just seen the results of this Pacific trial and it demonstrated a very significant improvement in progression-free survival for the patients who received Imfinzi, the immunotherapy, compared to those who received uh, placebo. We haven't seen a difference yet in overall survival. That was not analyzed in this early analysis of the evidence. But we saw a very big difference in the time before patients tended to develop relapses. And this was a sustained difference at 12 months and 18 months. And this really suggests that it is very likely that this will translate to an improvement in survival. We don't know whether this actually means that more patients will be cured with the addition of this year-long immunotherapy. We need to see whether there's more patients alive and without any evidence of disease three and four and five or more years later. But from the early time points that we've seen results from, we see very, very gratifying differences favoring better outcomes in the patients who received immune therapy. Now, we have not uh, seen more uh, significant toxicity. The side effect profile is pretty modest with uh, the immune therapy, slightly higher risks of inflammation in the lungs called pneumonitis, but nothing that was prohibitive. And so I think that it is very likely that uh, in the next several months, and uh, right now I'm recording in September of 2017, 
we will see an approval by the FDA for Imfinzi, for Durvalumab, for patients who have completed chemo and radiation and are doing well after being treated for stage 3 lung cancer. I would be inclined to treat my patients this way as soon as I have the opportunity. I would be inclined to treat for a year as long as patients are doing well. And we will need to see in the next several years whether this actually translates to an improvement in the proportion of patients who are truly cured of their lung cancer. But we have finally moved beyond the impasse of not finding anything better than just a couple of months of chemo and radiation for stage three lung cancer. And we can be hopeful that this will lead to more patients being truly cured of their locally advanced lung cancer.